All right, lads. I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. You ask me, can this new captain promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure? Aye. For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he ranks amongst the most clever. There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge of these seas. <laughs> but this man is a fearsome dog that feeds off trouble and turmoil. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon like it were nothing. Fighting like a devil, dressed as a man. And he's a canny one. Knows his way round every crag and crevice of these islands. So if his fortune and adventure you seek, and Captain Edward Kenway's your man. Only, don't meddle in his private affairs. For there's more mystery of that man than even I dare ask. Alrighty then, y'all. Who's ready? It's time for Funky G to f make his first foray onto his channel, at least, into the Assassin's Creed universe. It may seem like a weird place to start from with Assassin's Creed 4, since I haven't done any of the other Assassin's Creed games on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and press X, uh, so I'm pretty sure it's just going to take me to a menu anyways. Oh, and apparently, in recognition of previous Assassin's Creed titles, you have been awarded Alt-Tyre outfit? Wait, what? Oh, I was about to say, how would it know that from my Ubisoft account? Because I played all the other Assassin's Creed games on um, on my uh, on my Xbox 360. So the Ubisoft account. Okay, cool. I was about to say, wow, I actually get the Ezio and Altair outfits. That's proof that I played those games. There you go. Oh, and apparently I got one for Connor as well. Connor is the Assassin's Creed 3 guy, I'm pretty sure. Cool. I, there you go. Like I said, proof that you, proof that I played those games. I don't even need to explain myself now. You know I've played Assassin's Creed one, two, three. Now, I also played the spin-offs for Ezio, uh, Brotherhood, and um, Revelations. So I've, I'm at least that far into the series. Hence why we're starting in Assassin's Creed four. I didn't really want to jump backwards and replay all those games since they're just big open world games, and all the games gameplay kind of seem kind of samey, and that's a big reason why I fell off the series after the third one. So I've had Assassin's Creed 4 sitting on my shelf pretty much since I bought a PS4. I got it for super cheap, and then I just let it sit there, and I never played it. Um, I got it with the intention that maybe one day I'll feel like playing the series again. Well, lo and behold, since it's been sitting in my backlog, somebody finally picked it and put it on a poll. And, of course, it won the poll right away because Assassin's Creed is kind of a popular series. Just saying. So what do I know about this game? I know this game kind of takes some of the uh, gameplay elements they added in Assassin's Creed 3 with the whole ship battle mechanics, and I think they took that and put it in this game and expanded upon that part of the gameplay a lot more. I don't really know what that means because I haven't played this one yet or watched anybody play this one yet, but I'm quite curious to see if I'm going to enjoy myself when I play this game. Um, I'm also curious to see where like the main plot of this main story connects here because if you've played Assassin's Creed 3 and the ones before it you know the story with Desmond like the the ancestor who's in present day I think that story ended or at least had like an ending in Assassin's Creed 3 so I'm curious where this is going to even connect to any of the other ones if it even does so enough introduction let's start ass ass 4 who's ready who's ready I'm ready uh, enter name. Well, you know what? Because I can change it, I'm going to get rid of that part. And I'll leave my space. There you go. There you go. I is ready. And I'm playing this on my PS4, if anyone's wondering. I did just say that a minute ago that I bought it. 
I have, I bought a physical copy a long time ago and just been sitting there. Ubisoft presents. That's a lot of rain, y'all. Should have turned on subtitles. Shit. Okay, the game has started, but hold on. I didn't turn on subtitles. I didn't even look at the options at all. I should have. We need we need subtitles for this game for sure. Uh, spoken language English, please. Yes. Video. Subtitles on. Yes, we need this. We need this. All right, that's all for now. If we need anything else, we'll change it later. Also, let me know if the sound is too loud compared to my voice. It should be okay right now, but let me know. Okay, so we're this guy. We're moving around. What am I doing right now? We're going to hit up the objective. Okay. I'm trying to remember the buttons for Assassin's Creed to begin. I haven't played this series since freaking the third game, and it, I played it when it came out almost, so it's been a long time. All right, firing the cannons. Okay, so this is how the, this is the ship controls. Right off the bat with the ship combat. All right. Uh, to fire your cannons, hold L2, move R to aim, R2 to shoot. Wait, hold L2. And, oh, you hold L2 to aim, and then R2 to shoot. Okay, got it, got it, got it. What the fuck are sea shanties? Sea shanties? Are they songs? I don't even know. Anyway, shoot the hole for maximum damage. Maximum damage. For maximum ponage. Okay, so L2 to aim. Oh, we want to turn. There we go. And then, huh? And then, Kia! Yeah, I actually didn't even press R2, it just did it on its own. Kia! Got him. We're making it happen, Captain. The graphics are too good, I can't even see. The lightning and the rain and stuff such is all. But what if we get, oh, let's aim at the fucker over here, hold up. Fuck him up! Yeah, we didn't kill him, but we fucked him up. Turn, turn, turn. Fire! Yeah, fucked him up. Oops, I... Didn't mean to fire that yet, actually. Huh. There we go. He's almost down. Damn, this fucker is a beast. Finish him. Did we kill him? Do you have a sliver of health still? What the fuck? Fucking die, bitch. What is happening? Hello? There we go. Got him. Jesus. The rain and lightning is making it hard to see. Too real. Is it dangerous? Edward? Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. 
how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. A two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Liar. Can't promise something like that. Okay. Reach the shore. So we're actually going to get to play as Connor, or not Connor, Edward here. Um, before he's actually an ass assin. Noted. I knew I already know how to swim faster, so suck it, video game. Ha <laughs> ha! Already discovered the run button. So far, we got riveting gameplay. I gotta say, though, it does look pretty beautiful. I mean, the shipwreck looks pretty good. I wonder how, like, compare how this looks compared to, like, the 360 version. A, a la the PS3 version, or either or. So I feel like they probably didn't redo much when they ported it to the PS4. Just smoothed it over a little bit. <laughs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Your gun got waterlogged. Hey, <laughs> hey. I'm on to you, Sneaksby. Sneaksby? Is that his name? Find the assassin. Oh. Okay. Come on, also. mate. We're off to a bad <coughs> start. Sorry. Get the craft. All right, here's my swords. I'm just trying to remember the buttons of, like, Assassin's Creed in general. This game is pretty, at least. Exactly. Exactly, Morrow. If we, if there's anything we could be happy about playing a game like this, it's that it looks real good. Anyway, we got dual, dual wielding swords for now. I'm just having fun running around in circles. I like that I don't have a stamina bar, so I can just run forever. Forever. Oh yeah, and I miss running. Yeah, that's one thing I definitely miss is just running around and jumping all over stuff. And also, it's your anniversary, isn't it? And Ryoshin ain't acting right. He so just resubbed for like 12 months in a row because he's a beast, yo. You know one thing straight, I'll be there, girl, whenever you call me. Hey. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. <laughs> you are a pirate. All right. Pirates are free. Thank you, Rio, for the one year of support on that resub. Appreciate it, sir. And uh, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? I assume, I think when I left your stream, you just finished up the the king that you were working on, the gambling king. All right, sorry, I'm wasting my time. I should be chasing this guy down, right? I'm like walking around like they're, we're playing a goddamn fucking Breath of the Wild game. We have to collect a bunch of shit. It's no, no, we're chasing a dude water, down. Havana. Will you walk that distance? Ooh, what's this? I got to know what's in here, though. Or not. I gotta remember that we're just playing an Assassin's Creed game. It's more about chasing after people and killing them than it is like getting a bunch of resources. Though I do recall in Breath of Fire, or Breath of Fire, Breath of Fire Three is what I was gonna say. Assassin's Creed Three, uh, resource collecting. It was a big thing actually to like create different uh, uh, pair, uh, whatever you call them, usable objects to like fight with. 
I definitely need to climb. I'm just trying to figure out where. Oh, that's right, right. When you when I left the stream, you were checking the Media King's prices for his properties. Yeah, they started get, they start getting pretty goddamn expensive. I was like, oh shit, forgot how expensive that stuff gets. Right, let's climb up here. Yeah, there we go. But anywho, we gonna find you, ass ass Eno. We gonna find you, and you ain't gonna like it. Mm -hmm. Even though right now I believe my boy Edward here is not an assassin. But maybe if he kills an assassin, he becomes an assassin. Anybody figure that's how it works? Even though that's totally not how it works. Wait, where am I going now? Hello? Uh, there's one disappointing thing about this game right off the bat, though. It's not rated R. DJ? I love and I hate you. Oh, is this one of those? This is a vantage point, isn't it? Yeah, synchronize. So this is the one thing in the game we're probably going to end up doing, if, there, if it's like the other Assassin's Creed games, is get all the vantage points so you can uncover the map. That's a big point in these, big, in these Assassin's Creed games. Speaking of which, which button's the map? There's your map. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know if this island is... Or if we're on an island, first of all. Or if this is like a big area. I don't even... I can't tell yet. I can't tell yet. For now, I know there's another eagle spot there and another eagle spot there. But there is like treasure chests and stuff, too. We at least have to see what these things are. What did I, what did I pass? What is this? Or is that my marker? I think it's just my marker that I'm on right now. You played some karaoke at the end of your stream, though, to give everybody a nice send-off? That's nice. Nice of you, Rio. Very nice of you. Please. There he is. Oh, skit. Where's he running to? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. But before I go get him, I'm actually tempted to get the nearest... Yeah, what is this, Mark? Oh, it's just a viewpoint. You can fast travel already, too. Nice. There's a jaguar around here? What? I kind of want to see what these chests are about before I go too crazy chasing things down. I just want to see what some of these markers are. I may not spend too much time on the side stuff until I know what it's good for. But I at least want to look at like the treasure chest. Like, okay, there's one. It's down here. Got it. Let's see what. Let's see what we got. Silver pitcher and an emerald. Okay, so I guess that's money in my pocket. All right. Well, I see more treasures. I'm just gonna pick them up. Fuck it. The the area that I'm in is pretty small. It seemed big on the map, but it's small to actually find this stuff. How do pirates know that they're pirates? Oh God, here come. I feel it. I feel a punchline coming on. I don't know, Morrow. How do pirates know that they're pirates? How do they know? I'm looking for treasure, yo. What is this? I'm just trying to figure out what this marker on the map is. So, like, if I look at the map, what is this one? Animus fragments? A complete Abstergo challenges. Okay, that's interesting. I play too much ass Creed already, man. So I'm like, I'm already sidetracked picking up side shit. This is a problem. This is a problem that I have. Need to stop it. How do pirates know that they're pirates? They think, therefore, they are. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sad right now. Okay, I need to get up there. Anime fragments. Yes, anime fragments. Let's get one. There's one over... Up there, I guess? on that Maybe it's on that branch. Anime fragment. Huh? Oh. Wait, what? 
Hold on. Let's just mark it. So I know where it's at. Oh, it's actually up there. Okay. Huh. How do I get the fuck up there? Well, now I gotta know. I don't hate you, Maro. I don't. Don't ever think that. I didn't even hate that joke. But I feel like I'm gonna get bombarded by these jokes. But here we go. Oh, okay, I can go up here. Right? No! Sometimes. How do I get up to there? Can I reach it from this? Oh, here we go. Booyah. There it is. Booyah! We did it. All right. I just wanted to know what it was. Again, I might not do much of this overall, but I have to do it in the beginning just to see what things are. Uh, oh, um, I didn't see the treasure. Oh, well. Moving on. Get back here, you fuck. I'm chasing your ass. We could work together on this. I'm coming for your ass. Anyway, the next spot is here too, so let's get it marked, y'all. Synchronize. One good thing about a game like this, though, the story bits, you know, they they're, they happen a lot, sure, but when they do happen, there'll be a lot of me running around and just needing to have things to talk about. So there will be moments where I'll just have time to talk to you guys. Plenty of that. Babble on about whatever the fuck I feel like. Keep Babbling on distance. about. Oh god. The fuck? Asshole. 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 Oh, you're fucked now, sir. Oh, you done fucked up. You done fucked up. Yeah, you shot me. And yet my health just came back on its own. That's how this game works. Coming for your ass, bitch. I'm gaining. I'm gaining. Oh, shit. We're fighting. All right, well, this is how you learn how to fight, because I honestly don't really remember. Wow, that guy got fucked up. Swipe and block. Get sucked. Get sucked? Get fucked and get sucked. <laughs> Insert office parkour clip. Hardcore parkour! <laughs> Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. I see. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Well, that makes things even more interesting. I didn't know this was the story. He's not even an ass Creed guy. Mr. Walpole. He killed an, he killed an assassin, and then he, be, he takes his shit. Interesting. Although he threw away the hidden blade. That's what he threw away, right? That was the hidden blade? Oh, Edward, you idiot. All right, to Havana we go. To Havana, ooh la la. Ooh na na. Wait, so what is this? Okay, what are some of these things? This is a shanty. A new shanty for your crew. This is a Mayan stela. Mayan stone to collect, I guess. I'm just seeing what some of these markers are. Okay. What is this bottle of rum? It's a letter. Database entry. Yeah, I'm probably, for the sake of just playing the game, 
I probably won't spend too much time unless I'm in these areas for some other reason just collecting stuff. Unless for some reason I need to accumulate something, then I'll go around and do it. But I think for now, kind of like what I did with Spider-Man. Unless I feel like it, I'm not going to go too hard on the collectibles and shit. I mean, I know Spider-Man 100% in the end, but that game is way easier to traverse the game. This one's going to take That's some more time, I think. Just fine. But anyway, are you ready to synchronize? So, you know you know that guy you just killed? You know what he did when he was hungry? He assassinates. Oh, come on, DJ. Come on. But yeah, that really was a terrible assassin if Connor... Connor. I keep calling him Connor. Edward killed him super fast. Didn't even, like, put up a fight. I literally just dodged him once and killed him. That was a terrible assassin. How did he even make it into the fucking... Assassino group? Terrible assassin. Is there a treasure behind this waterfall? I'm sorry, I need to know. There is a treasure chest on the map. And it is behind the waterfall. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think so far the treasure chests have just been... Like, the treasures I'm getting are for money. So, are these fuckers gonna, like, attack me? Quiet, you bleeding pirate. You'll hang for the mess you made out there. Sir, Free the merchant. I had nothing to do with this attack. Okay. My crew and I have merely anchored to water okay. and resupply. Can we do assassinating or like assassinating already? I ca I called it assassinating. I did. Stop them! Give me one reason I shouldn't bend your skull. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. There's turtles over there. You see the turtles? Oh, turtles. You. Anything you like. I'm assuming I can assassinate people already. It just won't be with a hidden blade. Oh god. Oh, I'm going to get this guy. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Oh shit. Stalking zones. Dense vegetation can be used as stalking zones. They allow you to hide and move undetected. Use them to approach. So yeah, I know. Thank you. Good thing about me is I already know this. Take my sugar. Take Assassinate. Shit. Well, that didn't go so well. Oh well. Here we go. Ooh, get it in the face. I'm really good at being stealthy. Really good at it. All right, I need to get rid of this guy with the fucking the fucking gun over here. Uh uh, sir, with the gun. I can't even see you because I'm fighting you in the goddamn brush. Human shield. Uh -huh. That was always one weird thing about Assassin's Creed is like it's this you attack, but it's really like an ebb and flow battle where you just have to like watch your opponent. Otherwise, you can kind of just mash square half the time. See ya. I'll pay you. Anything you like. Okay. Motherfucker saved. Terribly, but By saved. God's grace, sir. You saved me. It's okay, I'm not a real assassin yet. Is that yours? It's more realistic that I fucked up. But, uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. If I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Fortuitous indeed. Okay. Um, what's up with this treasure thing Backing over here? Boat, First of all, we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. 
Un map? Treasure map. Find treasure maps on explorers' cadavers. They will lead you to a specific place on the island. Dig there and you will might find money or plans to upgrade your ship. Ooh. Plans to upgrade the ship could be worth it. Um, wait, what was it? Use blah, to select the map, press the triangle to open them, the coordinates will lead you to the right spot, and the image will help you find it. Okay. So, okay. X marks dispatch. It's actually not that far from where we're at now, I don't think. Pretty sure. Hold on. Uh. Wait. Yeah, I think it's over here. Oh, oh this, this is difficult. I should have taken the coat off. Hold on. Yeah, I think it's just right over here. How do I know if I'm in the right spot, though? Treasure map. How do I look at it? How do I look at it? Oh, triangle. Okay. No, wait. Okay, no, wait, 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 wait. 179 593 is the coordinates. Can I see that on the map? Oh, I'm like literally right on top of it. 179 593. It is right here. I'm literally right on top of it. Yeah. So. Where the fuck though? How do I know? Is it like above? Maybe it's above. Can I climb up here? No. Well shit, I want this fucking treasure if it's right here. But I don't see like an obvious spot for it. Maybe it's over here? I don't know. I think it is above. I think I have to climb up. Whatever. Fuck it. Go into the ship. <laughs> Already too much work. It's probably up there on the edge of that fucking... Cliff. I'm just trying to see, is there a way I, I know I'm not going toward the ship now. Now I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can climb up there. I didn't see any, like, foothold spots, though. Does it seem like I can get up there? It's gonna bother me if I don't at least check, you know? Because it doesn't seem like there's any spots to fucking foothold, foothold up here. Let me just take a little... Little look, see around this way. Yeah, it doesn't even seem like I can go up there. Oh, this is also a treasure chest. We can loot that. No, you cannot give a hint, Terra. Not allowed. Huh. So, maybe it's not up there? Hmm. Okay. I'm probably just not realizing what I need to do. thought Johnny Gargano was the bad one in NXT, but it's actually Ciampa. Well, if you watched NXT from when they first came in, 
they were both good guys, right? But then when they split up, who was the one going to turn on who? If, you, if you're at the point where they just split up, then you have a long way to go, dragon. There's a long, a lot of twists and turns in that rivalry. It's pretty ridiculous. There it is. I was looking at the map and I realized it's basically telling me to go away from the shore. That coordinate thing threw me off, though. Unless the coordinate thing was just my coordinates at the time. Alright, there's my money. I got my first trophy. Excavator. Alright. That was just going to bother me if I didn't try to figure it out. I like treasure map type stuff like that. All these other treasures on the map, it's like whatever, but that one I wanted to get. Where's this Animus Fragment up there? Hmm. I don't really want to go back up there. Fuck it, I'm out. There's there's a lot of shit I didn't grab here, so... If I want to actually clear it later, I will. For now, we out. In before I never get to come back to this island again. Alright, let's do it. I'm right, meow, indeed. Get me on this chip, y'all. Alright, here we are. Let's go. Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking right. over my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Oh yeah, I can fast travel, Let's so who fucking fall, gives a shit we? if I leave? I just thought about that. Fast traveling is all that matters. That's the best part. Fast traveling. Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing Good times. comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. I think I'm gonna have to uh, hang a hard left over here. As we, we head over really to Havana Unana. I'm just trying to get out the bay, right, yeah. Is there like another? I'm just looking at the, how the maps laid out, man. We're uh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. I wonder how huge this map's gonna end up being if we're Those just sailing around all the time. By the idea of pirates roaming these waters, is it a real danger? Do you suppose? A possibility, but most pirates storm. Ah, uh, slow down. Cuba and Going too fast. Fucking my ship up. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling I'm street. barely listening to this conversation. But I so, shouldn't worry about being God, waylaid by pirates, about. truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who'd turn his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. Definitely a beautiful game so far. Gotta give it that. But most of the ass ass creed games are. Go for the gallant and wild. Slow down, you fool. Alright, speed Go back up. To catch the wind. I wonder if he bought this ship on sale. Ah, uh, get out of here, DJ. <laughs> anyway, you're up to twenty eighteen on NXT now. Is there really that much more to the rivalry with Champa and uh Gargano? Yes, yes there is. Also, yo, check out the whale though. That was pretty epic. That was pretty sick. Race. Okay. Right when I press square, a cutscene cut in. I scared me. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Well, alrighty then. To Havana, Unana. 
we sell your shit, bitch, to Havana, na, na, na. Fantastic work. It's very promising. Okay, now we're getting into the present day stuff. Heroes aren't born. They murder people. I also got some Uplay points. Very important, guys. Uplay points for the win. All right. Easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Hello. Do I know you? Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Sure, sure. Look up. What lights? Those ones? Oh, that one. That's it. Down. Down. Right. Got it. So far, so good. Let's get you up. Got it. Get so, up! Welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're going to need this. There you go. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Hello. Bonjour. C'est bon? It works? Cool. All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Uh-huh. Weird that this is in first person. So different. Impressive, right? So this impressive. This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Abstergo Entertainment? What? Sounds confusing. People do this shit for fun now? Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. Huh. It'll just take a minute, okay? Okay. This reminds me of some Westworld shit. Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. What's up, girl? C'est bon. C'était prêt. Magnifique. Merci. I'll be speaking French. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. It's pretty sick, bruh. I know she said slick, but you know. Powered up. My files. Employee passport. Passport to Abstergo Entertainment. Welcome to the team. New kind of entertainment. Credits are making a bold step toward the best gears of your career. Abstergo Entertainment has a fresh outlook and a unique way of working with so many possibilities for growth. It can be overwhelming at first, but we're here to help you get settled down to work. Work the f following your dreams. Welcome to the team. New kind of entertainment. Inspiration strikes at unexpected times and unusual places. We got our start at the entertainment division of the technology company of Stereo Industries, where research into genetic memory, more on that later, led to captivating and thrilling surprises. Today, with a wide range of transmedia offerings, from games to books to films and comics, we're more than just an entertainment company. We like to think of ourselves as a history company built on science. Now, those are some good genes. Huh. Kind of interesting that they developed this from, like, connecting all seriously with the real world with Desmond and his ancestors just to find the apples of Eden or whatever the hell they were looking for. To fast forward to the fourth game where they're like, yo, this is all, like, a video game thing that they're building or virtual reality type of thing. They still use the DNA to, like, connect you to ancestors, I guess. But, like, you get to experience the past. That's the selling point. So it's an entertainment thing more so now. And I guess the real kicker will be the things we find in the past will connect to the future, I'm assuming. That's going to be the big thing. Anyway, I'm, I could be reading all this, but I'm kind of ignoring it. It's all Abstergo stuff. But yeah, 25 years of Matulis s and members ready for public consumption, blah, blah, blah. Prototype Abstergo Industry Entertainment Division issues its first release. Via its growing entertainment division, Abstergo Entertainment tested multiplayer simulation. Collaboration with major video game publisher Ubisoft. Wow, they even integrated the fucking oh my god they integrated the st <laughs> wow the assassin's creed 3 liberations released uh, 2013 grounds broken blah 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 
new headquarters in Montreal, Quebec. Wow. That's kind of interesting. They, like, integrated their own fucking Ubisoft division as part of the game. Wow. We go out of the way to our way to recruit the most talented people from all walks of life. You should feel at home in your animus workstation to explore history with the thoroughness you crave, and we expect. Who knows? We even cover past technology to benefit the future generations on Earth and evidence in secret society. Break a few codes or maybe an astounding connection between mysterious documents. This could be the beginning of something beautiful or shocking or evocative. It's all there in history. The secrets of humanity are right at your disposal thanks to genetic memories we put in your hands. Interesting. The Caribbean program will probably cost an arm and a leg. Oof, man, DJ, you are on fire today. Practically speaking, hours you are work from 8.30 to 5.30. Feel free to start, start as late as 10. And don't be surprised you get so absorbed you don't want to forget to go home. Vacations are breather. Your first week will come after 3,000 hours of, of in the Animus or a year of an abster, Abstergo. We have the best life insurance plan in the business. You'll find everything you need for a healthy, energized work life. Check the atrium. Fresh sushi. Organic. Ooh. Your communicator will give you access to areas you need. Diversity and gender equality. Blah, blah, blah. non disclosure. But remember. Blah, 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 blah. So many words. So much things. Why am I reading all this? I don't know. I probably won't have to read this again, so that'll be good. Ah, <sighs> okay. DNA memories. How it works. No one really knows. Just kidding. Acquisition, extraction, exploration, and editing. Building plan. Okay, yeah. We're good. Got it. Thank you for the information. See ya. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. Okay. I'm going to follow that booty for now, though. Mm-hmm. Where are we going? See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. Oh, okay. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Okay. Nailed it. Wait. Huh? How does this work? Hello? Circle button. Got it. Didn't register that in my brain is pressing the circle button. Sorry. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. Olivier Garneau. Bonjour. Salut, mes amis. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, them. Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ah, yeah. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. Can I see you in my office? So, this is the sample 17 She's like, floor. Fuck yeah, you can. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor. Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff. Desmond Miles is a generous one donor? Day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. Oh? This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing. Calibrating. Calibrating. Right. So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. Sweet. This is all yours. So sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. It's a nice chair. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Okay. Well, it's pretty interesting. I mean, right off the bat, I see this. What is this? I mean, it's a, it's a statue. I get that, but like, what? Can I do anything with it? Or is it just there? As like, maybe these are all the achievements, and I unlocked one of them. Maybe I don't know. Whatever. Let's uh get into it. I guess. How do I get into it though? That's the real question. Never take away his pee or he'll be irate. No. <laughs> Damn it, DJ. Wait, how do I interact with stuff? I'm so confused. Oh, the circle button. Duh. 
If there's a green little fucking Welcome wavy thing, you can Omega. interact with it. That makes Stergo sense. Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. Melanie you LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693. Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neural transmitters activated.